This is a Zeiss Axiovert 200 inverted fluorescence microscope. This particular microscope has been configured with an HBO 100 watt system. This is the transformer, this is the lamp housing, and the mercury bulb is inside the lamp housing. It has a 100 watt upper transmitted light halogen. This is the 100 watt halogen lamp housing with the bulb inside. It has a full rotary condenser with phase. You can also, you, you can also add DIC to this. This particular microscope has not con been configured with DIC, but it can be added. We've got a binocular head, and we've got the rubber eye cupping eye guards. Those are useful for blocking the extraneous light in the room so that you can visualize the low lux fluorescing signal. We've also configured this with a, a camera. This camera may or may not be included with the microscope. You'll need to look at the actual ad specifications to see what, if any, camera has been included. We are including the C-mount, and of course the photo port is already built into the microscope. So this microscope is completely photography capable. We have an XY stage. It is moved by a low position, XY. And we've got a Petri dish on it at the moment. This Petri dish, all these Petri dishes are not included. We're just using them as examples. This is a 96 well plate. If you need other stage plates, stage mounting plates, then let us know. We're including a universal stage mounting plate. This will hold a Petri dish or a slide, a typical one by three inch glass slide. But there are a variety of other stage plates. This is the cable for the mercury system connects the lamp housing to the transformer. This is a dial that changes the light to go from 100% eyepieces to 80% camera, 20% eyepieces. This dial changes the reflector module that's inside containing your dichroic filter cubes. And you manually rotate these objectives. This will be compared to a version that's, the, this is a 200, Axiovert 200, there's an Axiovert 200M, which you would have motorization on the objective turret, as well as the reflector turret, as well as shutters, fluorescent shutters. You can also do XY stages that are mechanical. This one actually does have a, fluorescent shutter that is electronic. This is the button for that. You press this button and internal it chops, it, it cuts off the, the illumination from the mercury system. This button turns on the halogen lamp. This is the halogen lamp. These are your, your diaphragms iris diaphragms, field stop and aperture stop, and you've also got your sliders where you can put different filters in. On the back we have a viewing aid. This is used to center your bulb and your HBO lamp housing.
got a variety of filters, filter holders for the upper transmitted. We're including two different filters. You can put in other filters as well. We have space for a DIC. That's for one DIC and you turn it. Uh, phase one, phase two, that's a DIC 0.3 to 0.4, DIC 0.5 to 1.3. So two DIC spaces that do not have DIC prisms in it, but they can be included. When you start looking at other Axial VARC 200 systems, some of them have a very simple transmitted light system. They have a very simple arm. They have a very simple slider. It's on a, just a bar that slides in and out for the phase contrast system, and they're 30 wide. This is the full version that has the 100 wide and the rotary condenser. This system is completely capable of doing DIC and I know that because of my DIC slots and my underneath my objectives as well as my DIC spaces you can see that in the red my two DIC spaces for prisms in my condenser so if you need DIC if you need that configuration let us know we can configure that if you need other objectives, let us know as well. These are long distance. That's how we're normally going to configure an inverted microscope. If you want to use slides upside down with a 0.17 millimeter cover thickness, let us know. We can provide high power objectives for that. If you would like to have a different illumination system rather than this mercury we can configure an Excite, Excite 120 uh, metal halide system. We also include some tools, some Zeiss tool kit. That's the original that comes with the microscope. This microscope has got a very convenient carrying handle on the front and the back. It's a very heavy unit. This is this is meant for research. This is not a clinical microscope by any means. This is an industry standard for fluorescence research. A research using fluorescence microscopy. This is the luminous intensity knob with an iris. You're going to want to set color illumination whenever you look at this unit. You're going to need to use uh, this to be your diaphragm that you're going to set. And you're going to raise and lower the condenser to get the uh, iris in focus. This is the transmitted illumination in variable intensity. If you have any questions about this microscope or you need any specific configuration, please let us know. We'd be happy to configure it however you may need. Thank you.